Hello and welcome to the tutorial on Find the Missing Number and in this tutorial we're going to do numbers up to 15 and we're going to do addition so numbers up to 15 and addition so let's have a look at the question we're going to be working through we have 6 plus something equals 13 6 plus something equals 13 now there are a number of different methods we can use to do this we're going to look at the three most common methods that you start off with when you're trying to find the missing number after that we will start working on mental arithmetic so the first method we're going to use in fact just before we do this I'm just going to put an A here because this is the first tutorial the second there will be a second one after this so the first stage is let's look at the first method the first method is the dot method now the dot method is probably the first method you will ever use to do these type of questions when you get better and better your mental arithmetic improves you will be able to do different ones you will able you will be able to use different methods to do this and work out the answer a lot quicker so in this scenario what we'll do is first is we will rewrite the question we've got 6 plus something equals 13 now what we need to do is we need to look at the number after the equal sign I'm just going to change colors here and that's this number here 13 so we need to get to 13 dots how many dots do we already have well we've got six dots we can even draw them above the number one two three four five six so there we have six dots what we need to do is to get from six to 13 dots now how do we do that well the missing dots will go here in this box so let's count upwards from 6 until we get to 13 and let's draw the dots above the square box so we have 6 and now we're going to draw 7 remember we have to stop at 13 so 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 stop at 13 so these dots now will be added or will be written in this box how many dots are there well let's count them we got one two three four five six and seven so that is our answer seven let's write that down six plus seven equals thirteen that is how we use the dot method first look at the answer at the end the 13 look at how many dots we already have 6 and then count from 6 to 13 putting the dots above the square box it's as simple as that so that's the first method now we're going to look at the second method the second method is the number line now do you know what a number line is that's right a number line is a line with numbers it can start with any number and it can end at any number so let's draw our number line over here our number line oh we're going to need to make it slightly big so let's start from here zero one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen and fifteen so that is our number line from the number zero to fifteen now let's have a look at the question again we have six plus something equals thirteen so 13 is the number we have to finish on it comes after the equal sign so let's put a circle around the number 13 
So we have to finish here. How many do we already have? Well, it tells us in the question, we already have six. There it is, the six. So let's put a dot above the six. So therefore, there, it, there we go. We've got six. Now we have to go from six all the way to 13 in with an, a, a number of jumps. Those number of jumps will tell us how much we need to put in the square box. So let's do that. We're starting at six. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that was seven jumps. We can even write them above the humps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven jumps. So it took us seven jumps to get from 6 to 13. Now notice this 7 is the same as the 7 over here. So it becomes 6 plus 7 equals 13. So that is how we do the number line. It gives us the same answer as the dot method. Now both of these methods are correct and they're perfectly valid and you're welcome to use these. When you get a little bit faster on this, what you can do is use the third method, which is counting. Third method is the counting method. And this one, what you simply do is you can either use your fingers or just put dots again. So let's have a look at the number we're starting from. We're starting from number six. What number are we ending on? We have to stop at 13. So we start at six and stop at 13. So this is what I want you to do. I want you to hold both hands out and turn them into fists, i.e. none of the fingers are sticking out. We're going to count from the number 6 until we get to 13 and we're going to stop at 13. Each time we count a number we're going to hold out one finger. Okay, so let's do this. We've got six. The next number is seven. I want you to hold out one finger. After that, it's eight. Hold out another finger. Then it's nine. Hold out another finger. Ten. One more finger. Eleven. Another finger. Twelve. Another finger. And thirteen. Another finger. So by this stage, you should have quite a few fingers and maybe even your thumb sticking out at the moment. Now I want you to count how many fingers or thumb you have. So count all of them that you're holding out at the moment. It should be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You should be holding out seven. Seven fingers. And that's how we get from six to thirteen. Now practice the counting method again so that you get the hang of this. So those are the three methods the dot method, the number line, and the counting method for when we are finding the missing number with numbers up to 15 and we are doing addition.